Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So um, before we get into that guys, just a massive thank you um, as yeah, subscriber count has been flying up recently as well as um, the views on the videos have been doing really well. So just a huge thanks to you guys all for checking those videos out and our like goals have been doing um, pretty well as well. So just a huge thank you um, all for that. But yeah, with that all out of the way, let's get into this. So yeah, we're on episode 108 now um, and this system is from um, Quicksay on Discord. So yeah, they sent this in, and this is called the Lion's Heart um, system, and it also came with an information document, which I've got open as well. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So I've already searched it up here, so let's get into this. So here we go, let's um, load it up. Right, so um, there's no information on the star as far as I can see. Okay, so we'll just check the star out to begin off with. So here it is. So it's a more of a white star, as we can see here. There's a slight bluish tint. I want to say in there, um, and obviously there's all of its stats, 11 luminosity of sun, so if we just put this disc on, we'll see it's a fairly reasonably sized um, disc there, right, so yeah, there we go, there is our star, but now moving on to the um, first object here, um, Pridora, so he's actually um, got it all out for us to um, read, so yeah, here it is here, a very, very nice blue object on first appearance there, it also has a moon, but yeah, let's get on to the information now, okay, so this planet was originally made from the or origi or originally made from the first life in the system it is a combination of nuclear based elements ah oh, okay and a world that isn't really habitable for human life but it is great for life forms capable of standing like the nuclear elements so um, no chloride and nusos these are made up elements okay so there we go so this is a world built from nuclear waste and stuff it's quite a cool concept actually making a whole object from that so it's um quite large as well it's larger than earth there um let's get a look underneath that atmosphere let's see what's under there so here it is so a very weird color combo but yeah pretty cool i have to say with um the way it's all um set up there so yeah there we go so that is pridora right and now moving on to the next one here so it's a yellow object as we can see here so this is, um, let's see here, I can't even see it, so, yeah, Venmore Pridora, okay, so yeah, a lot of, a lot of words in there, but yeah, here it is here, so the stats on this one, or oh, not the stats, sorry, the information, so this is made from non-base nuclear focused elements, even with no atmosphere, life is possible, a barren desert, um, world surrounds the landscape, and the moon is frequently active in volcanic activity, okay, so there it is there, so a yellow coloured moon there, Rightio, so yeah, moving on now from that one, we are heading to the next one. So this is Lilador. So this is a gas giant, as we can see, it's purple in colour. Pretty nice mixture of objects in there as well, so there we go. It's also got a set of rings as well, okay. So um, this one is born from the titan of the great void. This gas-like well lives, breathes and survives on. Void-based elements and energy sources. Further information is being conducted at Pandora HQ, okay. Well, yeah. Really sorry if I'm scrapping the pronunciation on any of these. But yeah, there we go there. So then we are moving on to its moons. So I don't... F I'm not seeing any information for these guys. So yeah, there we go. There is it here. First moon. Then we have the second moon over here. So they're all minor moons, as we can see. Very, very small in size. But they've got those new asteroid sort of textures going on them. Um, now we're in the new update. So yeah, there we go. And then it's an observer object as well. So it's a Juno spacecraft. As you can see here, it looks to almost have a colour tint on it. But I think it's just the uh, background reflecting off it and stuff. So yeah, there we go there. Right, so heading out. Okay, so the next world case, where are we? So this is uh, Yashara. So here we go here. It's a very nice object on first glances as well. With a green atmosphere as we can see here. Looking very, very nice indeed. So yeah, here we go here. Right, so... Um, Okay, born from the gods of life, Yashar is a accumulation of the universe's best attempt out of of the dream. Okay, um, the closest the universe can get to a dream is here, a world of healthy life, bearing creatures that is considered to contain a world soul of its own. Okay, I'm really liking the backstory um, with all these objects on this notepad file. Really, really cool and in-depth. Really, really nice um, indeed there. And that is a, obviously a very nice looking planet as well, the green atmosphere on it too. So yeah, there we go. Right, um, there we are. Right, so it's one of them, I think, no, 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 I don't think any of these moons have got information on them, but yeah, here we go, so we'll quickly go through them all there. So yeah, there we go, but yeah, that is a really nice um, object right there, um, with the green on it. So yeah, there we go, yeah, not really too much to see in the moons, they're all just asteroids as we can see there. Um, and then moving on to this, so I believe there is information on this, yes there is. Okay, so the Herald of Washa, okay. So this one is originally discovered in the grounds of Washa and later become a mining colony. The moon is now a barren wasteland. Life and other organisms abandoned this moon eons ago. After the moon pushed out one the last volcanic blow before becoming geologically dead. Okay, so 
this um, got some history on the subject here. So yeah, there we are. Right. So that's in orbit of um, Yashara. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I'm scrapping some of the pronunciations there. All right. Next up, we got as -er off here. So this is the next one out. So here we go. So it's a a bluish world. So it's kind of similar to the first object we saw here. But um, okay. So right. This one considered to be a many or many or no. Let me just restart. Consider too many to be one of the lost titans of the cosmos. There we go. Right. Um, Azeroth is named from the god of time. Ah, now I've... No, sorry. Scrap that. I'm reading off the wrong thing. No, it's home to many gods and even old gods. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I'm just... The, well, oh, the notepad is really hard. I have to keep dragging it back and forth to read it all. Um, so, yeah, apologies for that. Okay. Its moons, white beauty, and blue lady are symbols of hope, wisdom, and courage. This world will live on to the end of time and be there in the darkest of times. Yeah, I really like the um, backstory. So here are its moons. We've got Blue Lady here. It looks quite similar to Uranus with its color scheme. And then the last one up here, White Beauty is rolling with a white atmosphere um, a little further out there. So yeah, there are those. Rightio. Right, now moving on. So this was the one I was accidentally reading just because I'm um, all over the place today. Um, so here it is. So Air Followed. Or Air Followed. So yeah. Or airfold, I think is um, how they want me to say it. So here it is here. So it's got an interesting set of colours on it, as we can see here. So we've got greens, blues, a bit of brown in there as well. Um, so yeah, there we go there. So there is that one. It's also got um, some blue and green rings, as we can see from a further distance here. Okay, so this is commonly known to many as the multiple banded ball. It is named from the god of time. Okay, um, the planet doesn't have a sense of time. And while you may see the planet moving from above down below, it looks like the days never change. The planet contains a high amount of oxygen and helium, which is shocking considering how far it is from the home star. Okay. What well, does it actually contain oxygen? No, no, it doesn't. No, forget that. Oxygen's not even the game. Oxygen and helium. I was getting it mixed up with carbon dioxide. But yeah, there we go. Um, so we got um, airfold there. Um, then we have all of the moons. So here we go. There's the last one. And then this one over here. Okay, this one actually has some information on it. Okay, so full filed here. So widely known as a place of long lost war. Um, this object has experienced the fall of kings, empires, and civilizations. Pandaria doesn't have much information on the moon yet. Just what um, we do know, that is a very powerful empire once ruled here, and they didn't like intruders of other worlds beyond theirs. Okay, so there it is there. So it's going with a yellow color, as we can see there, with a yellow atmosphere as well. So there we go. Also a nice yellow trail, and then it also has an um, observer object around it as well. So here it is. So I'll see quite close to the object there. So there we go. There are all of those. So there we go. Right, right now we're moving on to the next object here, the second last one of the day by the looks of it. So this is um, Kerbara here, and this one's got a moon very close to it as we can see. So I wonder if it's anything's written down on that. Okay, so, uh, known as one of the last planets outside the Pandaria to press a non-pure quiescent element, Kerbara's atmosphere. And internals are made of pure priscotin, an element made to heal planets and to make them stay or stay the course of war destruction and even death we are looking in more into kabara as we speak okay so pretty uh pretty interesting one here so there we go let's look underneath this as well i want to see underneath the atmosphere there um so where are we show the atmosphere okay so there we go so there's a view of it there looking a little funny due to the new update as well but yeah, that's to be expected of all the systems now um Farsara here so this is the next object out anything on this okay um referred to the moon of wonders this one is the most unique place for the lion um, it contains some of the most interesting life forms um, the universe has ever seen. Its landscape is beyond anything the Pandarian scientists have ever discovered. Okay, so yeah, pretty cool stuff. You can see it's pretty exotic under there as well with the colours. We see a bit of green, blue, is also mostly a pink colour um, on it as well there. So yeah, pretty pretty cool with the way it looks. So there's a full view of it there. So yeah, there we go. Right, and then there's another observer object as well there. So there we go. All right, now moving on to the last object in the system now. So we've got this one over here. So, Sil Air Valve, or Van, I'm really sorry if I'm scrapping these. Right, so yeah, there we go. This one's rolling with a darker green atmosphere with an, or a reddish surface below. So this one, okay. So, known to many as the Lost Titan, this was once one of the nine titans of the universe. Um, planet, okay, so this is in bits and brackets. Okay, so planets that have titan world souls, which are thousands of times larger than normal world souls due to a powerful foe, the Burning Legion, coming to steal the planet's purified quiescentence. Um, this planet was completely destroyed and the civilization that helped raise the Galactic Federation was wiped out. 
the enemy ship is still out there today along with um, cruisers and battleships. Okay, it's a pretty crazy stuff. And there's a ton of fragments. We can see there's debris from this world being damaged. And there's also another um, orbiter there. And then we have a... Um, okay, so this is the spacecraft. Ah, okay, it's a Burning Legion spacecraft. So it's a giant sphere. And then the attack cruiser. We've got another Juno spacecraft over here. So yeah, there we go. And I believe that is everything for this system. So yeah, let's just zoom out. Make sure there's no other hidden stuff. Um, in here so yeah it looks that looks to be everything just check out the object list there okay cool so that is everything let's get a line up and um overview of all this so here we go so here are all of the objects i've say that out of the two gas giants i definitely prefer the purple one i have to say nice different mix of colors in there get a full look at it um here as well so here it is so yeah i, li I like the color blending there's some interesting colors in there all uh, mixed together and then moving on to the rockies it's a hard choice between these there's a lot of good looking ones here so yeah there it is all of these these two are quite similar the two blue ones but i think i, I have to i think i'm gonna go with um the two greens I, I don't know i am a sucker for the green objects i do like um i do like them in systems because they, they just look so nice with the atmosphere and all that so yeah it, for me it'd be between these two so yeah there we go but then looking at the rest of the objects as well here are all of the rest and then obviously there's all the uh, fragments at the end there so yeah there we go guys that does it for um today's system so yeah again massive thank you to the creator of this system quick say for sending this in um on discord so obviously if you want to do it the same um and get your own systems in videos like these and make sure to join my discord um link in the description like this guy um did so um yeah make sure to do that and then all you need to do is go to the upload um, chat and then just drag your um, system file in there and then job done i can get around to doing it um um, in a video but also if you want to do it um, the different way um, probably the less easy way you can send me a link in the comments um, but remember it can go in the spam box so I may not see them so just let me know it's better to let me know um, or if you've done it on the workshop it's just best to tell me I put it on the workshop this is the name of it and then I can just um, do the rest of the work from there so there, there are the other two routes if you want to do it so you can either do it on my discord you can um, send me the link in the comments that's the very highly not recommended and then the last one would be upload it on the workshop and then tell me the name of the system so yeah there are your three um, ways of doing it but um, yeah that is everything so yeah again massive thank you um, for sending this in um, quick say there I'm really sorry um for my uh, failed pronunciations today in here because you've really uh really been challenging some of these guys and obviously um my little silly mix up reading the notepad but yeah really really cool uh, it's been a while since we've had a notepad um with some information sent in it about systems so, you know i do like i, I have to say you know, i've said it loads of times before but i really do like the hidden like backstories and information about all the planets um as well it's really really cool and it just adds so much more depth for the system as well like yeah i, I copied it all onto my um my other my other device here so i can read it um while doing it but yeah scrolling through all this and it's quite hard to keep up to date sometimes but yeah at least i got through it so yeah hopefully um you guys enjoyed this video as well and yeah make sure to leave a like subscribe as well let's see if we can go for 40 likes on today's video and yeah massive thank you to everyone who's recently subscribed and got to the end of this video as well guys just huge thanks for that but yeah that is everything guys so make sure you all have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye